Welcome back, everybody. My name is Tim. This is another Real Ideal Gear Review, and today we're looking at the Casio DW290. Retro watch from the 1990s, made popular by the movie Mission Impossible featuring Tom Cruise and this Casio DW290. We're going to go through the five things we typically go through, which are size, fitment, finish, accuracy, legibility, and loom. In this case, it'll be light. So let's start off with size. It's a fairly big watch, although when it comes down to other G-Shocks out there, this watch is probably below average in the overall width and height dimensions. So the width of this watch or the, the diameter of this watch is about 45 to 40, I think it's 47 millimeters across. And the height off the wrist is either 14 and a half or 14.3. I'm going to go with 14 and 0.3. Um, so proportionally, I, I like this, the proportions of this watch. It's not too tall and it's not too wide. It's still in that below average of some of those larger G-Shock watches that are out there that are gargantuan. So to me, that this is workable. Overall fitment of this watch, uh, typical Casio strap complaint that I have, the holes are just a little bit too, par too far apart. Put them a little closer together and you can fine tune the fit even better. Uh, but it does have the ratcheting keeper system, which is the notches on the inside of the keeper and the notches on the inside of the strap that keep the keeper in place so it doesn't slide up and down the strap, exposing the tag end uh, to catch on things. So for those reasons, I think the fitment is good. Um, it's not horrible. I'm just not a fan of the overall sizing. This watch actually happens to fit my wrist almost perfectly the way it is. I have It's about a 50% thing where... It fits perfectly or it's too tight or too loose depending on the the, uh, the hole that I use on the strap. So overall finish of this watch, typical matte black resin case finish. Um, I like it. I think this is the whole point of a Casio is that you're looking for that. To me, I'm looking for the matte black case finish. I'm not a huge Casio color guy looking for other colors out there. Um, it gets a little, to me a little bit more toy looking when you have... Uh, you know, bright white or bright yellow. And I, you know, there's probably reasons for that too. I'm not a huge color guy when it comes down to Casio watches anyway. So to me, matte black is great. I like it. It's, it's the whole thing about, you know, it's a cheaper watch anyway. I'm not trying to, you know, garner a lot of attention by the Casio watch that I'm wearing. Um, 90s vintage look. Uh, this is right out of the 90s. Uh, look at this watch and a lot of, uh, like my, my boys will look at this and say, no, I'm not interested at all. Um, it has the fake riveting on there. It has the fake uh, CV boot uh, covering for the 8 o'clock and 4 o'clock pushers. So there's some things about this that just kind of have that retro 90s industrial look to it, which I think are, it's just fitting for what it is. Uh, it has the history that goes along with the movie, so that's that's there as well. Mineral crystal, slightly, slightly recessed um, below the bezel of the resin case. So you get a little bit of protection that way, but not a lot. Um Overall, I, I, I just think the finish is kind of a typical Casio finish, nothing to write home about. A plastic pin buckle on the strap, which I think really at this price point, you I would prefer if they had gone metal. If they had gone metal, this is another way for me to, to have a little more excitement over this watch. The further we go through this now, the, the, more, the more I'm just not as impressed with this watch. Quartz movement is a typical uh, accuracy from a, a Casio quartz, which is plus or minus 20 seconds a month. No issues there. However, it's a two-year battery. Um, to me, that's just, you know, with all the watches they make with a 10-year battery, I don't know why it couldn't be a 10-year battery or something more than two years. Two years just is not, it doesn't sit well with me as far as the cost overall. So these are some things that are starting to build up over this watch um, that I think, you know, time technology has caught up and somehow they've got to get more time out of this battery than they have. Legibility, loom, or in this case, it'll be light, legibility and light. Legibility, uh, first major hit is going to be the time the time display. It's too small. This is the smallest time display of all the Casios that I have. It's too small. Now, I, I gravitate towards the larger uh, time displays anyway. But, you know, the, the time displays, um, and now this is a dedicated time display. So when you look at the Casio or the AQS 810, those displays are... Uh, it's an anti-digi watch, so the display itself is small to begin with. But when you have just a dedicated digital watch, this is the smallest time display of all those. 
Um, so I, that doesn't work for me at all. Um, it's just way too small. What does work for me though, is the electroluminescent light. Uh, it lights up the entire display. There is no hot spots, no dim spots. The whole thing is lit up really well. And also the flash alert. I think the flash alert is another piece when it comes down to just the function of the watch that I really like. One of the things I was attracted to was the flash alert and the design of the case. The rest of it, not all that impressed with. I just wanted to give this thing a fair shot. So those are the two things I was looking for. And the flash alert does not, uh, it, it does not disappoint at all. It's, it's great. Uh, low light situations, it, it flashes as long as it, the watch is beeping. When the beeping stops, the flashing stops as well. So I really like that. I think it's okay. I haven't found um, any situation where the flash alert has got my attention um, that the audible alarm didn't get. But I think I also have been using the timer function for a shorter time frame. So I'm going to start using it for some longer time frames, like, you know, an hour, uh, 45 minutes, something where your your mind wanders off to something else. Um, but if it's only two, three minutes, five minutes, uh, your, your brain knows in the background, hey, I got this thing happening in, in three minutes or one minute or 60 seconds or whatever. So the flash alert, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I think it's going to be helpful for that reason. One of the things I, I just a head scratcher is why there is no dual time in this module. Uh, at this price point, they should have a dual time module uh, or dual, uh, dual time program in the module. Uh, that's a head scratcher. It has the timer, which has also a repeating timer, has a stopwatch with a split time, and has the alarm. So it has the basic functions, but no dual time. Uh, that at this price point, unacceptable. Um, you know, that same thing with the two-year battery. I just I don't get it, and the same thing with the with the time display. So these are these are starting to stack up. Um, what I do like about it though, it's it's almost a G-Shock look, but it's not. It has a great case design. I love the hexagonal case design. The hexagonal uh, uh, display insert uh, that the display hides behind. I, I think it's the the theme of this is great. This is the, the design feature of this watch. I really like. It does have the '90s retro look to it, so I like that. I'm okay with that. You know, that was in college in the '90s, so. Um, to me, I, I recognize all that. So I think it's great. So overall score for this watch is a 9 out of 10. Is it a recommend? The only way I would recommend this watch is for anybody who's looking for a retro watch. If you're, you know, if you're fascinated with the Hollywood scene and, and just watches that are worn in Hollywood movies, I think it, it definitely fits the bill. Um, if you're looking for something from the 90s, definitely fits the bill. If you're looking for a high-functioning watch at this price point, there are plenty of other options, and I would not recommend this watch for that, other than the flash alert. That flash alert is not on very many watches. So in the comments, somebody tell me, what other watches out there have this flash alert function? I know that there is a Casio... Um, I think it's a Square 5000 that has the flash alert. I think there's one other one. So I think there's three that I'm aware of that have this flash alert. So I'd love to see if, if there's any other ones out there because I frankly would love to see this flash alert in something better than this. I already have a Square, okay? So I don't need that Square. But if there's another one out there, I'm, I would be more than interested in uh, finding out what that is. So put that in the comments down below and your impressions of this watch, uh, whether or not you like it or not. I'm... I'm not all that impressed with it. I'll probably uh, sell this off or, or give it to someone who might be more interested in it than I am. So it's a good watch. And I, I don't know that they're making a lot of these anymore. Um, I, I haven't seen these as prolific as some of these other watches. I've heard that they may be discontinuing it. I don't know. Um, but in any case, it was worth a shot. Not impressed. Nine out of 10. There you go. My name's Tim. This has been another Real Ideal Gear Review. We'll catch you guys next time.